Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide and this time it's a guide to catch the trophy Atlantic Salmon. So I fished like a total uh, cloudy day and a total sunny day and uh, yeah I'm going to show you guys my conclusion. So first of all I'm still, as you guys can see, I'm still in Alberta at Santa's hut. That's where you need to be. So what I'm going to do in this movie is I'm first going to show you guys uh, what the sweet hour is. Because the sweet hour for the trophies is not complicated because you can just see it on the graphical chart. So it's uh, my testing is almost the same like the graphical card. So on the on the pike moments of the curve here. That's the best moment that you can catch the trophy uh, salmon. So for a sunny day, I came to the conclusion that from 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. you can catch trophies. In each of those hours, I had a trophy. So and you can see it here too uh, on the the card here. You see here, it's like pike until here. So that's nicely the same time than the graphic gives us then for the cloudy day i came on uh, 7 to 9 a.m and on 4 to 6 p.m and that's just just the same too so here you got the best time here you got the best time and that's in the same time frame that i had so it's not so hard to find the trophy best time so that's good i will post uh, my times under the video too of course so what did I do I fished with lures and I fished with bobbers so I'm going to start first with showing you guys where you need to throw then I'm going to show you guys my setup and then I'm going to show you guys my net and then you guys got all the info that you need to get a lot of trophies because you can get a lot of trophies in one daytime it's like a very good form and I was really happy uh, you can catch them with level 5 uh, bait, the small minnows. So that means that low levels can farm them too. So let's go to the spot, to Santa's hut. And if you guys uh, yeah, come in Santa's hut, it's once again, you need to be on the docks here. So you need to go over here, to the edge of the dock. And you will see uh, here, it's like... Uh, four trees and that's a little bit the sweet spot but I al am always throwing between this tree and this tree so here uh, the most salmon I got uh, were between 40 and 20 meters so you don't need to make a lot of distance uh, you can uh, yeah, throw really close so you don't need to bother with uh, low line uh, that you need to throw far and all that stuff that's not really needed and for the guys that are low level if i show for example a spinner and i say the spinner works most of the time a lower level spinner works too but of course it's possible you are going to get lower species uh, and stuff like that but most of the time it works because i see a lot of guys asking under my movies uh, yeah, I'm a low level and I cannot catch it because I don't have spinner 14G3. Oh, okay, that can happen, but there is a spinner lower than 14G. So just use that spinner and most of the time it works too. It's not going to be always a salmon or a trout that is in my movies, but you can scale it down and most of the time it works. Okay, so what you need to do is, the problem here is with the salmon is he's not that deep. And you will see it later with my bobber presentation too. So it's the first movie that I'm going to show you guys how you need to twitch. Because the main problem is here, the, the water is way too deep and you cannot control your lures really well. They are flying all the way. You can do maybe a stop and a go, but you need to go from two drag speed to three drag speed to get a nice presentation in the water. And yeah, it's way too hard. So I did it with the twitching and the twitchings work really well and I will show you guys how you need to twitch it's not really complicated but I'm going to show you guys so let's throw in 
uh, yeah, I'm now not really in the, the good spot in the time frame, but let's have a look. It's just to show you guys how I fish. So from the moment that you see, you don't let your lure going down. It's not needed. Put it on drag speed one and you just give some twitch and you will see that your lure is starting to move. You stop and I'm now at three. Yeah, I stopped a little bit too early. Let it go again and you twitch. Go again and you twitch. Go again and you twitch. So your lure always need to twitch the whole time. So it's a little bit practice because it's not, e not easy. I got now two dots. That's really good. Like this. And it will work. I got all my trophies with this method. And it's a lot easier to fish. Because if you need to wait until your lure hits the bottom. It's like 5000 meters deep here I think. I think that Abyss is in it. So it, it's way too slow and you are going to lose a lot of time. So that was twitching. Yeah, at the end, the water is too uh, not deep enough anymore. And you see my, my lure is going all the way. So that was it for the lure. Try to do it the twitching way. Now let's go to my match rod. Uh, so yeah, it's just the same. Just throw to the trees and... Uh, I got all my trophies, uh, I, yeah, I got all my salmon because I don't have a trophy with my bait because I didn't test it really well. So I just got like a normal one with the bait just to see that it works. So you guys just need to try it yourself because otherwise it takes me way too long if I need to test all the bait until I got a trophy. But I'm sure that the bait will work. I think the shiner work. Uh, that's confirmed. I think that now I need to think for a moment. I think that the the natural X work too. But you guys need to test it for yourself. So what you need to do is just throw at the, the trees, and the, a good mark is between 30 and 40 meters. So now I'm at the sweet spot. You just let your bobber go. If you got a bite, yeah, you get the salmon in. That's it. So. I'm going to reel really quick in because now it's time to show the equipment and the net and then you guys got all the info and then you can hunt the salmon. Okay, the setup. So first of all, uh, I'm going to show my setup, my match. I'm fishing with the Phoenix 450, the Fatboy Spin 5000, Fluoro 0.23 and I'm using the Shubby Bobber. It's not really needed to Shubby because I think with the Sport you can make the distance too, but yeah, that was my set. I'm using the Hook 4.0 from guys that got the trophy salmon with it they say 4.0 or 5.0 to get the trophy otherwise you get too many uh, normal ones so go 4.0 or 5.0 this depth is very important i started at 100 i went to 150 i went to 240 and it was okay i got a couple of salmon with it but the moment i went to 50 centimeters yeah, they almost attacked every time my bait was in the water. Right away, dots on my tension meter. So 50 centimeters is really cool. Uh, and that's really strange because the crankbait works really well too. And that's 3.5 meters. So I'm not sure how that comes. But 50 centimeters works. So if you want bobber fish, do it on 50 centimeters. And you, go, you are going to get a lot of bites. Okay, that was the setup for the uh, bobber fishing. Now I'm going to the uh, casting rod. And look, look at this uh, new uh, rod. I like it a lot. I just uh, bought it to show off a little bit because, yeah, he's way too, too big uh, to use it on a fish like this. But yeah, I'm using it. So I'm using the Cosmo Cast 190. Uh, because it looks pretty. The Vortex 4000, that's way too, too big for this fish. Uh, Fluoro 0.23. And I'm using the Spinner 14G 30. So that's a setup that you guys just saw me using in the water. So now the last and I think the most important for the most people is the net. So I did a lot of testing. 
I tested almost everything for bait fishers, uh, natural eggs work. Uh, crankbait 3.5 uh, meter 2.0 works. Trophy, I got a trophy with it, you guys will see it later. The spawn sack works too. The shed was uh, one problem. Yeah, the lake trout likes it too. So I would not use the shed 10 centimeters on the salmon because you are going to get lake trout too. So, yeah. So don't use it. If you want the lake trout, you can use it. I think you can get the salmon with it too, but yeah, it's. It's always 50-50 uh, then, so. Uh, the small minnows work too, so for the guys that are low level and got a little bit of gold, uh, it's a nice farm, you know, 140 experience and 40 currency for, uh, I think, a level 6. This area is level 5 or 6, so that's really good. Uh, spawn sack works, but I already said it. Shiners works, of course, too, because they are OP. Uh, spinner 14 G3 O works too. Uh, medium spoon, the same problem than the shed. The lake trout likes it too much. Then I got three uh, unique furry trouts, but just ignore that. That's uh, the firework uh, stuff. And then we are in the section with the trophies. And you guys will see I got a trophy Atlantic Salmon with the Spinner 14 G3O. And they give 76 currency and 258 experience and then the crankbait that's the new one uh works really well too so that was it for the movie guys so if you want to go with the lure fishing go with the spinner or go with the crankbait if you want to go uh, with bobber fishing i think that the shiners work really well the spawn sack works really well too for the low levels uh yeah you guys uh you can use let me check because I forgot the name. The natural eggs. Or you can use the small minnows. And that was it for the movie guys. So happy fishing of course. If you guys got a confirmed trophy time. Uh, that is. Uh, that is not in my time frame. Just post it under the video. It's a big time frame. On cloudy days I got 4 hours. And on sunny days I got 6 hours to get trophies. So the farm is in. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the movie, give me a like. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And otherwise, have uh, yeah, a good time. And I hope that you guys get a lot of fish. Bye bye.